<laughs> I had a large interest in the Terra 250, so I went ahead and decided to build it out. This is kind of how it came out. It has, uh, it's running these 2,000 kV motors, which are good for four cell, and they do fair on three cell, and uh, has a video transmitter up on the top camera in the front for FPV and uh, I did finally figure out that uh, these little points down here in the bottom those are for your ESC signal wires you're supposed to solder into there and then you use these little wires up here in the front like this for uh, to connect the ESC's up to your flight board well I didn't want to cut my wires because just that way so they just run along the front up into the uh, to the flight board by itself and these wires are just kind of inside dangling Anyway, this is how it turned out. Now, the uh, motors on this are really good for four cell, and they're, like I said, they're pretty good for three cell also. Uh, there are some problems with this uh, frame. First of all, I had to drill out all the holes on the bottom of these arms so that the screws would fit in, because these are the three millimeter screws instead of the two millimeter screws. And if you buy something like an 1806 motor, they should fit on these arms just fine. Uh, but these these ones are a little bit bigger so I had to drill those out. The other thing kind of bad about this frame is the uh, motors are a little bit wider than the uh, than the frame itself. Let me see if I can get a good shot of this. And so the bad part is, is that you might have a direct impact on your motors if you crash. Uh, the other thing underneath the uh, flight board is mounted up here on this upper plate behind here and uh, it didn't have three millimeter holes for the uh, flight board nylon screws so you had to had to drill those out to make them big enough for the nylon screws if you aren't using nylon screws I don't know how you're mounting your flight board unless you're just using like double-sided stick tape or something uh, the ESC's they mounted right up here on the top of this arm and it's got them zip tied in place same thing in the back here they just zip tied in place uh, the other thing I had problems with is once this is all put together, I had a hard time getting the uh, the little washer or the nut back behind this. So they're not screwed on here on the top, and they're also not screwed in uh, down here on the front. This one right here, they don't have any. Ooh, where are we going? Don't have any screws in there for uh, those, just because it's too hard to get to once I had everything mounted. I don't know. Maybe I didn't do a good job on the wiring, but I thought it was doing fair. And then I tried to close it, and anyway, I had problems closing it. Up and. Uh, Anyway, I got the I got the fly. Anyway, so the back here, this is super convenient having this mounted on there directly in this power distribution board. Once you solder this stuff up, you don't have to worry about this anymore. It's already on there, and since it all comes bolted together, you're pretty much good to go. So now I'm going to try to get some flight footage of this. Uh, I'm going to fly it on three cell, and then I'll do some four cell footage, and then we can uh, I'll give you some final closing thoughts on it and see how it goes.
it's not too bad on four cell. In fact, these motors are awesome on four cell. If you're using four cell batteries, then you should probably be using something like these uh, DYS 2206 motors. These ones actually came from GearBest. And I think a few other places sell them too, but they're 2206 motors. And this thing comes to life on four cell. So let's talk a little bit about the assembly real quick. This is a 2206 motor. This is an 1804, 1806 motor. And you can tell there's quite a bit of difference between the two of those. And this is the size of motor that it's actually built for, but I wanted to try these 2206 motors because I heard they were so good on four cell, which I now agree they are pretty good on four cell. They're 2000 kV, so they're not the fastest motor, but they handle four cell batteries just fine. Now on here, I have the video transmitter up here on top, and that's so that I can easily change the uh, channel Channel for when we go to races you can hit the button here and change channels and uh, I hear all the LEDs actually show you where the uh, what channel you're on now this four cell actually fits nicely inside here I'm gonna unplug this before it does something weird this is the four cell zippy battery I was using and this is a long skinny one so it works well but it, something like this this Bonka battery it's a little bit more uh, square it doesn't fit inside here between these posts just because it's you know not designed for this kind of quad so the four cell battery like this fits fine these three cell batteries fit fine but they're not quite as um, this, these motors aren't really real happy with three cell they can do they can do them fine but it, they really like the four cell battery this is what I have underneath underneath the hood uh, got a CC3D and it's using uh, S bus and so I have the signal wire runs clear back here and runs up here to my uh, receiver which is up here mounted to the top plate and also my video transmitter is back here which comes down and connects to the camera now this is a full-size PZ 420 camera I have in here but the problem with it is it, it's not really designed for this because the, the mounting holes don't line up with the camera mounting holes they're a little bit the mounting plates a little bit smaller so I just kind of stuck it up there with some uh, spacers and then used a couple rubber bands to hold it in place and that seems to do all right even though I don't like it because it should just mount up directly but like I said you kind of get what you get so these are the little small holes I was talking about up on the top plate and there's no way you're gonna fit your standard three millimeter nylon screws to those holes so I had to drill them out the only problem was is that there's so little material out here on the edge that I almost cut out the almost knocked out the hole I'm not sure if you can get two millimeter nylon nuts but if you could they wouldn't really fit correctly through a flight board so I'm not really sure on this design choice of putting these two millimeter holes up here that seems kind of odd to me also up here in the front right here I got this big mess of wires and I'm not sure how all this is supposed to run but right now I have it running through these holes uh, these two holes here to try to hold it out of the way the only problem is it's kind of eating up the power wire here a little bit and so I don't think that's gonna be the best way to do it um, let's see what else I have the uh, to power my flight my CC3D board I need a 5 volts well since I'm running my camera directly off the power source and also my video transmitter off of this I actually take the video the power out from my video transmitter back here which is 5 volt output and I run it up to the CC3D board I've done that on uh, a few of my quadcopters and I've also done it with a NASA 32 but it gives a consistent 5 volts to the flight board and so he's real happy <laughs> so if he's happy I guess I'm happy so the other problem I have is since I don't have very good wire management here when I close this I kind of have to hold these wires back to the middle like this so that this will close and now uh, yeah, I just going out in the way there we go so it will close and I think I got it mostly right there no, something's not something's catching there it is If I had better wire management, this may not be such a problem, but I'm not real good at this. Anyway, I'm gonna get this closed. Back here on the back, like I was talking about, these are just not a very good design idea, having these little clips here. Like already, this one, I push it down, and it's not clipping onto the uh, board like it's supposed to. This one's clipped on okay, but this one's not. And, and I'm just, I'm sure these little tabs here are gonna break off, especially if you're taking this thing, uh, opening and closing this a lot. But overall, I really like this quadcopter on a four cell battery. It's not much good on a three cell. It's kind of, I guess if you're trying to learn on it, maybe it'd be good for a three cell. It, it, it doesn't give you a whole bunch of punch out. So, I don't know, maybe it'd be all right. Anyway, this is the Taro 250 quadcopter. If you have any questions about this, you can feel free to leave in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.